In this video, I'm going to explain to you further on top of the vertex sub selection mode, there are two remaining sub selection modes here under segment and spline. So I'm going to explain to you what the key differences are and what are the additional functions that we can use once we are in these selection modes. Like for example, in segment selection mode, you will find that we can now select this one whole line instead of selecting an entire line itself. We can select them by a certain portion. Or in this case, we call them a certain segment. We can key in the delete button to break the line up into multiple segments here. Okay, let me just undo this again. I don't want to break this. Or we can select the segment here and we can further subdivide this segment into something else. For example, I'm going to use, let's say, 3 and click on Divide. Notice now the segments become a little bit more. Okay, we can insert more vertices inside this one segment alone. This way. All right. And let's move on to spline. Spline allows us to select an entire line all together within the within this line group cluster. All right. As long as they are not jointed, they are not jointed or they are not welded together. They are considered a different line, <coughs> a different spline group like that. If you notice now, when I click them, they are all looking, they are all different splines. Alright, so one of the key advantages of using the spline selection mode, right? We can, we can use this function to create or to trim the lines, to create a corner. So I'm going to try and show you this one. So I'm going to select this line, this particular spline and hold the control key to select the other spline segment here and I'm going to go down under the geometry header I'm going to go all the way down and use the trim command when I use this trim command here I can now begin to take up and trim it again to form a corner here right I'll just undo this again <coughs> I'm going to use the trim command and to click on the areas that I want to trim away. Okay, like for example, I want this corner here and I, I don't want these two to remain. So I'm going to click on the areas I want to trim away to form, to form a new spline segment. Okay, I will right click to deselect them. Notice now they are still remaining in all different spline segments here. If I want to join them together to form a line of uh, an entire spline segment here, I can go back to the vertex selection mode here and window select these two points here. Notice they are not jointed together. Yeah, I'm undoing this. So I will window select this now. And I can use the well command here to join them together. Now notice when all the lines here are jointed, the yellow vertex point is now gone. Okay. So what I want to do now is to show you further how to build a complete loop or a completed shape here. Okay like this. So in order to let's say complete this as a closed loop, all right, I will need to use the create line function here and activate the snap to just connect this one line. Okay, and to join it in. Now I'm going to still stick to no for now. All right, 
So one thing I need um, you to pay attention to is inside the vertex selection mode, this line is still not connected. So is this one. All right. So we are going to use the weld function here to weld these two points together. Okay, weld them together so they will form a complete loop this way. Notice now when I click on them, it's a complete, it's a closed loop all together. Okay, like this. I'll explain later on what happens if we don't have a closed loop compared to when we have a closed loop. 